this is Susie with Perfectly Naughty, and I have been working on this little pair of toe-up socks, and um, I've really been really enjoying this process. It's actually my first pair of toe-up socks. I'm working them on two circular needles. It's sort of like two big old double points, so I've got half of the stitches. These are the bottom of the sock, and the other half of the stitches, the top of the sock on the other needles. This is working out really, really well. I'm able to knit both socks at the same time and not lose track of where I am. Um, I've been using um, one ball of yarn, but then I'm working from the outside and the inside. So it does have to do make, I do have to make sure that I don't get things tangled up. This yarn is the Barocco Remix Light. I'm, I'm really liking the texture that this is making for a sock. It does have a very light twist to it. So I am curious that once the sock is made and worn, how it will hold up. But the fiber content on this is a cotton, linen, and silk, and nylon blend. It is, um, and it's all a recycled fiber. So I really like that. I love the texture of it. And I think it will make a really great wool-free sock for my, um, my very sensitive feet. And the other thing that I've been working on with this sock that I am really liking the feel of is making this the sole of the sock thicker and and um and i contemplate you can kind of i don't know that you can really see um that this sole side is thicker than the the top of the foot but i'm going to show you how i do that and i um it's something that I have been considering for a long time and mulling it over. And I decided that since I'm experimenting with this particular yarn for a sock, that, and I'm doing my first toe-up sock, I thought I would just make the whole thing an experiment. You'll notice, I'll point this out to you in this video, um, but the toes, this toe right here, I cast on and I got it inside out from, and this one is correct and this one is inside out. So I, I had to kind of chuckle at that. Um, I think next time, lessons learned, I think next time I would cast on onto two DPNs and two DPNs and then transfer over um, because I got a little too, uh, I would say I got a little too Edward scissor hands with that and I couldn't see what I was doing. So. Um, the other thing that I've done is because I'm knitting this toe up, I'm able to really customize the fit of this sock. I have a very wide uh, front of my foot, um, but once I get past the, um, the ball of the big toe, my foot becomes extremely narrow. And so what I've done, and you can kind of see here, I came out with the, the number of stitches that the pattern requires, but then I brought the number of stitches in. I may even, when I get to the heel, I may bring them in a little bit more because I do have a very, very unusually narrow heel. This is one of the beautiful things about being able to hand knit, hand crochet, or sew your own garments is that you can make them fit you once you learn the principles and you and you learn um, the construction techniques, do not be afraid to customize things so that they fit you correctly. All right, so I'm going to show you how I make the sole of the sock thicker. All right, we're going to get all my my stuff untangled. Now, I stitched across a row and then I unstitched it and I figured out that it's taking me approximately three lengths of yarn from the width of the stitches to knit one row, single strand, okay? So three lengths. So I measured off the three lengths and I'm gonna fold it right on there. Oops, sorry, I'm gonna fold it right there. And I'm going to bring that, double, see now it's double stranded. I'm going to bring that all the way up here to the to the needle here and then I'm going to fold it back on itself again so that it goes all the way back down here and that makes this triple stranded thickness 
Okay, and you'll see here it is right there. All right, now I'm gonna grab this knitting needle. Hopefully I can do this without knocking over my camera. I'm just gonna kind of hold that there, slide my stitches up. My knitting needle. Some people like to do this particular technique and have a third needle so that they're always knitting off instead of in, in the circle. You can see I'm gonna knit these off onto the same needle. Um, it doesn't, that, that works really well also. Okay, here's my first stitch and I'm going to wrap this, the yarn around there and then this loop where I folded it, I'm gonna just lay that over the knitting needle. So this first stitch on the row ends up having um, two strands. And then when I do the next, I'm gonna have all three strands working through that yarn. I hope this is something you can see okay. So all of these, this, so I'm gonna knit all the way across with three strands. I'm gonna show you when we get to the other side over here how I am anchoring it. Um, I do realize that um, it's probably easier for you to see if I'm not doing my throwing technique and if I was picking. Um, I can do both, throw and pick, but for some reason um, on this project my fingers have wanted to throw, so I've just stuck with that. And it's keeping my tension even. These are not the most perfect socks I have ever made, um, but I'm okay with that. These are gonna be for my hiking. I'm a, I'm a pretty active hiker and I'm, I'm excited to try out this thicker sole. Um, make sure you're getting all three strands around your knee your needle because you're triple stranding. You see I'm kind of getting up. I've got a few more stitches left. And then we're almost there. See how well I did. You know, and I will say um, each time I've done this I've not been exactly perfect. It, sometimes it comes out spot on where I want it to be and other times I've been short, short by a couple of a stitch or something but okay there you can see it right now I'm kind of having to really tuck that around there. I've got two more stitches here so I'm going to get this and then wrap the, oh, that didn't want to go so I'll have to kind of tuck it around. Here we go, a triple strand. Now for this last one, okay, so I did get this pretty, I got this pretty good, and you can see here's the end of the folded loop. So I'm just gonna pull that over the knitting needle like that and wrap the yarn around and then knit it. And that's gonna end up anchoring the end of that triple strand um, so it doesn't come, on, come out. Now let's take a look at that again for the other Sock number two. Here we go. I'll get all my yarn going the same, all the right direction. I kind of got, let it get all tangled up. Oh, that's kind of one of the hard parts about uh, when I'm not working. You can see now I'm kind of how I'm in a circle right here. And so I'm going to work this second sock onto the needle over here. You can see how sometimes it would be easier to knit, use a third needle to knit off. Um, but that's okay. It's all just fine. Just fine. Whatever you like to do, you could still do this even if you were using all DPNs or if you were using um, or if you were using the magic loop method. It's going to be fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we're going to get our three lengths across the span of our stitches. And let me get that all straightened out here. All right, three spans. There we go. We got one, two, three, three spans. And then I'm going to fold it back on itself at the end of the, the three lengths. And then I'm going to fold it back on itself the other way. 
So it's triple stranded. And then we'll knit across again. There we go. And then we will knit over there. Once the first couple times I tried it, it was a little bit awkward, but then I'm I'm a little bit used to it. Um, it's feeling a little awkward right now because I'm trying to film this, so I'm working around my tripod instead of just in my lap. All right, there we go. So I'm going to cinch, cinch that up and go around the needle with the, that yarn, the single strand coming off the other side, and then the fold. So there's my triple strands there. That first stitch again will be just the two strands. And then going across, it'll be the three. And then what I've done on the next round, I am just knitting um, a single strand. Um, well, I almost dropped that stitch right there on camera. Um, but I, then I'm just knitting the next complete round, okay? I am not going to um, triple strand on the top, just on the bottom. I suppose you could if you wanted to, but I personally don't want that extra thickness on the top of my foot. I only want it on the bottom. I was also considering that um, could also have done the bottom not only triple stranded, but in a one by one ribbing, which would tighten that up a little bit around the arch of the foot. And these are some, some things about socks as far as their usefulness and their utilitarian aspect that can be beneficial to the, um, the type of shoe that you wear. Because as I noted, these are for when I am hiking and when I'm wearing my heavy hiking boots these will be this is a really fabulous fiber content for hiking socks though with the cotton and the linen um, for wick of moisture the silk is going to have some warmth the linen and the nylon are going to bring that durability oh see now I'm going to have extra here I'll show you how I handle that when I didn't met when I over measure and I have a little more than I want. Okay, so I've gone all the way across on that, and we're gonna turn that around. And I'm gonna turn my little ball of yarn around because I am working this sock from the outside and this sock from the inside, so I keep turning the ball around so I make sure that I've got that behaving. All right, and I'm gonna scooch all that back over. Get that to the back. If I take this yarn on the sock that's on the left and to the back, then I'm not getting it all tangled uh, around this and making it even harder for me. Okay, now we're going to scooch the stitches up. Now we're going to do the top of the sock. And of course, I'm, I'm kind of fighting that a little bit, aren't I? All right, there we go. You get those. Make sure you're using the correct needle if you're just using the two circulars because I don't want you to knit them, knit the back to the front. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and bring that triple stranding around to the front of the sock a little bit, and it's going to just be a couple of stitches, so it's not going to um, it's not going to make that big of a difference really in the overall project. But when you get down to that tiny little bit, you do have to be very intentional about tucking that in there. And now, it, see, it popped through right here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to lift that to the back over here. I'm just going to let it be in the back. Can you see that there? And I'm going to insert my needle into the stitch, and I'm going to grab that loop and put it on the right needle. Can you see that there? And then I'm going to wrap it around and stitch, and that'll help to lock that into place. 
And then I'm going to knit across the rest of the way with just a single strand. I think definitely next time I'm going to use three and have the needles, have the socks on the two needles and use the third needle to knit off much like you would with DPNs. Um, I do like, these are the Addy Rocket Squared. I really, really love these needles, you guys. I am totally digging on them. Okay, there's the top. There's the yarn for the other sock. There we go. Bring that up and cinch it up. Remember when I said a little bit of Edward scissor hands going on? <laughs> it's definitely less, less uh, fiddly that way once you get the, when you use the third needle to knit off and when you're not trying to knit around the legs of a tripod. All right, there we go. Now we're just gonna knit across the top of this sock. I have my, um, I just have a little split ring marker. You can see it right down here. I have one on each sock. And that is just to let me know, um, or my, help me to remember and keep track of which, which is the top and which is the bottom, because I have it at the beginning of the row on the bottom of the foot, which is my beginning of round. I am going to not, not do a pattern stitch on the socks. I'm just knitting them plain. I will do um, some ribbing um, at the top of the sock. The nice thing I think about doing a toe-up sock that I, I really love is that you can just go until you run out of yarn. And I think that's I think that's good. I like that a lot. All right, and I'm coming out. It's just three more, and then we'll be done with both the top and the bottom of both socks. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! Very good. And now we will turn it all around again. And get all the things going in all the right directions. So now this is we're back to the bottom. See, there's my little markers. I mean, I can I can tell additionally because of the thickness of the bottom because it's triple stranded, right? Okay, let's get that over here. Now I'm going to knit across the bottom again. And every one of these stitches now is thicker. It's all triple stranded. I suppose if one wanted to, one could triple strand constantly on this side, but I'm I'm not doing that. I am finding that the thickness is just, I think it's fine. Um, and so I've been, been just single strand knitting. into this, the row that has the triple strand yarn. It sort of reminds me of the, the concept of, you know, you, you knit across for your pattern and then you purl back, right? But when you're doing it in the round, it's the round in between that you just plain knit in order to finish the stitches off. There we go. You do want to make sure that you are getting all three strands of yarn in that stitch. Okay, it's really important. These are not, you're not increasing stitches. You're just making that yarn thicker right there. Okay, and you can see that's one whole stitch, but it's three strands. So just be extra careful to make sure that you're not accidentally turning 
that into three stitches. I think that um, it works out okay. And I, like I said, I really am loving how thick the bottom of this sock is feeling, and I'm, I really am looking forward to trying them on my feet inside my hiking boots. I've got some. This pattern calls for doing a German heel, which I've not done before either. So this whole project, this is my whole sock experiment project. I'm cut that and I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm going to finish off here and we will and I'll probably come and make another video when I get further along in the project and talk about some of the new things that I'm learning in my sock knitting. So I hope that you try this triple stranding your yarn on the bottom of your sock. If you do would you please tell me about that? Would you? You can um, pop onto the website perfectlynaughty.com and go over to the contact page and just fill out the little form there and tell me that you used the triple strand technique. Um, if you are watching this um, on one of the platforms you can comment below. I don't always see all of the comments on the YouTube channel, unfortunately, but I do see the comments um, on the Facebook page and the Instagram page. All right, I gotta get this. There it is right there. So I was missing, I'm still missing it a little bit. Remember what I said, we've got to make sure that we get all of those strands. Oh, that's because there it is right there. We're going to make sure that that loop of yarn is all the way on the needle and then we can knit it. That's better. All right, guys, that was it. So try that triple stranding technique to make the bottom of your sock thicker, or maybe into the heel or wherever you feel like you need that sock to be a little bit thicker and let me know how it works out for you.